Well, good morning. Today's uh, adventure is the annual ploughing match, the three counties ploughing match, um, of which we are members, even though we've never ploughed in our lives. And uh, we have parked ourselves in the members car park. Um, the family, as always, refused to be filmed under any circumstances, so they're moving on, on ahead. And, uh, and we will now proceed to see some, uh, some ploughing. This is uh, very much the highlight of my, uh, my year. It uh, harks back to a, uh, a previous, more gentle age and uh, is always, always a good day. So we'll, uh, we'll move to the gate and uh, see what we can find on the ploughing front. I think Josh, I think oh, Josh comes, doesn't he? Yeah. Josh and his wife do. Right. We might find him there. I don't know, I would rather have him. Yeah, I don't know. What would I rather do? Well, people are coming in now. Quite, uh, they're quite busy. It's always a popular, popular day. Uh, most people have uh, never actually seen a farm here and uh, live in cities, but everyone comes out putting on their uh, country attire and uh, pretending that they are living the uh, idyllic rural life, whereas those that do appreciate how hard it is. And they have uh, the uh, Caterage Suffolk heavy horses there. We're now walking through the trade stalls, always very popular. Uh, lots of uh, things that you would never see anywhere else uh, for sale. Uh, always the most popular over there, of course, is the tea and coffee stand.
You just can't beat some axe throwing on a Saturday morning. Or if it's more your thing, some archery as well. I always find these traction engines absolutely amazing as uh, mechanical marvels, but also huge admiration for the people who keep them running, that there must be a huge amount of work involved in uh, keeping them serviceable and uh, roadworthy. Uh, there's a steamroller with uh, traction engines behind. Um, amazing and uh, fascinating and lovely smell of the the steam and the and the coal that they're that they're burning and equally impressive a uh, a small miniature one but still doing useful work on the uh, machinery there and uh, the sound you can hear is the tractor and the threshing machine which is uh, a sight we see every year and always amazing how it's uh, designed and, and still works. Fascinating to see it in operation. So the threshing machine is powered by uh, that tractor there and then uh, this mechanical marvel of uh, pulleys and wheels and uh, wonders going on inside before it uh, produces material for thatching. And the great thing here is that uh, there's dogs everywhere and we found a little dog which looks a bit like Jack. So there we have a a greeting, but uh, the little dog on the right, um, no cairn at all, but looked very much like Jack. So uh, very sweet. And of course, always the most popular part of any of these shows is the uh, tea and coffee stands. There's the uh, cake there, which is absolutely fantastic. An amazing selection of delicious cakes. And uh, in the tent we have a uh, hog roast, which we may be visiting later. A bar selling all sorts of um, quite terrific uh, local ales. And, uh, and everyone here very much enjoying themselves. Might have to uh, try one of, uh, one of those uh, ales. The ciders in particular look quite, uh, look quite interesting, although um, some of them look as strong as uh, wine, really.
And another great highlight of these events is the terrier racing, of which the first uh, job is to catch your terrier. And uh, they're ready to go. And they'll soon be off. And they're off. And it's absolute chaos. Complete chaos. And now, trying to catch your dog again after the race. For those of us like me who uh, just eat food and have uh, no involvement in its production, it's amazing to see just how big and complex these tractors are and the machinery that goes with them. Just uh, um, amazing pieces of machinery. So having enjoyed the, uh, the trade stand and the, uh, and the cake and the licorice and everything else we thought we'd better actually have a look at some uh, some tractors doing their tractoring And of course, not forgetting all the people who put in a lot of work to make this happen in the secretary's tent with uh, items for sale and all the cups that people will be winning. We're now looking at the home crafts tent, which looks very busy indeed, but we'll, uh, we'll fight through. This is another uh, very popular part of the, of the show, in which people were uh, demonstrating their skills in various uh, home, uh, home baking and jam making and vegetables and flower arranging. So let's, uh, let's have a look at this. Judging must be very difficult here with uh, such a multitude of uh, different displays. Cakes look nice. Now that's a job that I wouldn't mind doing 
tasting the cake to judge those. That's something that I am a bit of an expert in, but something that I'm not an expert in is uh, judging the uh, fruit and vegetables. Not something that you see every day, a collection of matching beetroots. I see there's lots of, uh, lots of entries for the cake, uh, the cakes and the jams as well. And uh, look, more, more cake as well. Certainly uh, seems as though we are a nation of cake bakers and uh, Victoria sponges, I must say, I'm partial to, as I am the carrot cake, of which there are multiple carrot cakes there. Look at that, that's uh, um, what a fantastic sight. And indeed, uh, now moving into the scone section. Yes, look, all my, uh, all my favorite fruit stuff in one place, and fruit pies as well. Look at this, lots of superb, um, superb, pies and uh, sausage rolls and bread and what it looks like quiche as well so um, a fantastic uh, fantastic selection and certainly if they're looking for uh, judges for next year I'll be front of the queue for that well I might have all the gear but certainly I don't have uh, the ideas or the artistic skills of some of these uh, photographic competitions here of which there are some uh, some lovely lovely pictures here which are very very good with a theme being countryside theme very nice indeed and selection of eggs matching eggs and there is the accolade that everyone is hoping for the champion cake baker 2023 so exhibited by Charlie Berry um, well congratulations uh, Charlie you are the 2023 champion cake baker and uh, there for posterity there you are and shortly to be uploaded to YouTube